We, we were just here five days ago, I, and it was in the last video showing what we did here, lifting up the honey and putting the empty supers back. We're a little bit surprised because in five days, a lot of these have filled up this empty super. Um, I'm not just exactly sure what all of this is, honestly. I'll see what it tastes like. I bet there's some privet in here. Okay. There's just a hint of privet, so it's really okay. I, I think it's uh, persimmon, honestly. Persimmon is kind of mediocre. I mean, it's not bad. It's fine. I put it on my peanut butter sandwich. And I think we got a combination of persimmon and just a little bit of privet off the tail end of the privet. I don't even see any privet blooms anymore, but I can still taste it. Anyway, these bees are still making honey and they're packing it in pretty fast. So we just pulled those full supers off of this side. And uh, I guess we'll be back tomorrow morning with more supers, Seth. Okay, so a simple matter that I'm getting, oddly enough, a lot of questions about. We run our colonies with 3 8 entrances on these pallets, and I'm constantly being asked about, is that enough ventilation, and um, questions like that. And here's what we do. We have these 3 8 lips on both ends of our covers, and we just set the cover up on the lip, and it leaves this little space, this extra entrance space right there and put a brick on the back so the wind doesn't pick it up too badly and that's our answer to ventilation during hot weather with strong colonies real simple if you don't have lids like ours you can just put a stick under there raise the rear of that lid up give them an extra crack and it's perfect and here's another thing that people aren't quite ready to believe and it even seems odd to me if you do that early, like right before swarming season, I believe I actually have a little less swarming with colonies that I've given that extra ventilation to. Um, it's just casual observation, but over the years, I'm pretty sure I have less swarming when I do that to colonies. Yeah. You're going to be on cam. Yeah. <laughs> Smoker class. No. Yeah, I'm going to put my veil on. That way, you know, they can't see my... Well, what's wrong with that? Uh, <laughs> oh, they all know what you're doing. There we okay. go. All right. Well, uh, yeah. so go, you need to stand where I'm standing. Uh, you good? Go yeah. ahead. All right. Here we go. I got you. Show the John method. All right. Yeah. It should work. The thing is, every smoker is different. So you have to do it a couple few times before you get used to that smoker. Here we get it going. Hardwood pellets like the kind you use in a wood stove. Now, once those get going really good, that's when you can start packing more on there. That would be a cool thumbnail right there. Hey, John, you got fire. flame shooting out the. I know. Uh, this one's too small. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, no, it, it, it's 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 on fire, cuz. <laughs> okay. That's a, where did you buy that uh, smoker at? No, okay. Um, it's from China. Yeah. And that's, that's where many of the smokers come from. But when we get back to the shop, remind me, I'll donate a good day dance smoker to you. And uh, we prefer, I, I think the date ant smokers are some of the better ones in our country anyway. And uh, that's the ones that we use. That's the ones that we use, yeah. yeah they work good. Like, I don't know if that was I didn't really explain to you well I guess what I was doing, but yeah, you just get that 
the first pine straw going really, really good. Put some more on there. Get that going real good. Throw some pellets on that. Let those pellets get burning. And then you can start putting more pellets on top of that. And you stuff it down and then put your pine straw on top. Boom. And that will go a long time. I've used a lot of smoker fuel over the years. Uh, another one of my favorites was uh, hemp baling twine, but that's very uncommon now. Most bales are uh, bound up with synthetic twine, and you don't want to use synthetic twine, of course. Uh, I think the hemp twine was probably my favorite. This is my second favorite right here, is the combination of pine straw and hardwood pellets. Softwood pellets work too, but we prefer the hardwood pellets. Kind of like we're smoking meat, right, John? Right, exactly, yeah. <laughs> John, John, yeah. Well, John actually heated stuff. up some hot dogs over his smoker the other day. <laughs> did, you get a, did you get a shot of this it yard, good, Seth, yeah, yeah. before we tear it apart? You been stung yet, Jason? Nope. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> you want me to go into this, Bob? Yeah, we're ready. Let's go, yeah. All right. Here we go. Baker's saying something. We're break, tearing her home apart. We're still on the other. Oh. Oh. I want to see what they did under this thing. morning with more supers. I don't believe these guys still want us here. It's, it's logs all the way down to the other end of the property. They're starting to stack them on this side of us, but yet they still tell us, oh, look at over, look at this, Seth. Look, look right there. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Is that king snake? Uh, they call them black rat snakes. I guess they're it well now Jason You know more about snakes than I do if they get speckling on them, then that's a king snake But I think that's just a black rat snake a Beautiful snake, yeah I'm not a snake lover, but I love indigo color of a good indigo oh, black indigo. indigo snakes you've seen them they're like a blue I've never seen one in per I know they're oh, so they're black beautiful. that they have yes, a blue they're like blue they're like blue mm -hmm. And they get fat, big. Whoa, a cane piece. <laughs> that thing made me hurt myself. Well, there probably aren't any mice under our pallets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, I was just saying, I'm surprised they're let, letting us stay here like this. <laughs> Some of these people don't get seen in our videos. Jason works at wood shop all the time. Yep. We just got finished building that pole barn. We're going to have to put that in a video yeah, yeah. Uh, where we're putting our uh, cell builder queens and all of that stuff. And Selena is now part of the B crew, which uh, uh, a month ago I wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have guessed that we'd be hiring a lady to 
help us on the B crew, but she's doing great, and I'm really glad you're here. So uh, we'll save you on the YouTube channel. People get to, to see you from time to time. They got to see something besides John and Seth. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, let's get these. This, so you, this yard didn't make quite as much honey as the others, but I know why. It's because it got split three weeks later into the spring, so they didn't have quite as much time to build up as the others. But uh, they, they still have at least a single solid super plus that deep box full, so I absolutely can't complain. I'm anxious to see if this yard has made that persimmon like the last two, so let's, let's get to it. All right. Oh boy. It's a heavy box. Go ahead and smoke down that hole a little for me, thank you. Okay. A little more, please, yeah. That's good. It's the same color. It's the same honey. Yeah. Interesting. This persimmon is something I don't get that often. There's not that many persimmon trees in the woods around here. It takes just the right conditions for it to put out enough nectar to create supers like this. They're on a fast track to do it right here. This is just a couple days of foraging plus that day of rain in the middle. So if it doesn't rain too much too soon maybe they'll actually finish this super with persimmon that's interesting I don't, I don't see it that often aren't you getting tired of stacking yet I'm fine. so far so good Martin's tough. First stuff of the year. Yeah. Hey John, it's, it's not that many pallets, so just put each pallet up right straight under a fan. We'll have these dried down in short order. This room will be about 25% humidity by tomorrow morning. Get the fans going, probably 85 degrees temperature. And uh, just in three days, we can pull a, one or two points of moisture out of these supers. And it mostly comes out of the supers that are not capped completely. And then you extract it all once together. Well, it's been an interesting week. Today's Friday. We're about done. I guess John could say, thank God it's Friday, but we're working tomorrow too, so he can't say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it rained two days this week. We got almost eight inches in two days, so the drought is over, at least for now. It is absolutely sopping wet everywhere we go, which is a good thing. I'm glad to see all this water. Uh, we're collecting queens today. Uh, just trying to let everybody know what we're up to. We get asked about that all the time. Uh, we've got a lot of nukes in this location. Uh, Seth, what do you think? 240 or something Two, like that? 250 plus. 250 probably. plus, yeah, it's quite a few. And we're going to not harvest them all today, but we're probably going to harvest a third of them and use those for requeening colonies next week. Okay. Do you remember what I said to Seth in the end of the mountain laurel video? Real, real beekeepers do it in the rain. That's right, yeah. <laughs> it was a rainy day and he said that actually. I said uh, something about it being a miserable day and raining and he said, real beekeepers do it in the rain. Yep. And then I said to him, 
that it'd be neat to have a bumper sticker that said that. And we got something from a Mr. Butler in Port Angeles, Washington. It was a very nice note. <laughs> and it rains a lot in Washington, too. Oh, yeah, that's true. And this is what he sent us. I love that. That's so awesome. Yeah, see if the camera will pick that up. I love that. So I showed one to Seth, and he wants it on the back of his truck for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, he needs one on the back. He needs it, yeah. To add to all his other stickers. Well, so <laughs> do, you, do you think that would be uh, offensive to anybody or too suggestive or anything? No, I love it. You I love think it, it's yeah. real. It's raw. It's, it's real. Yeah. yeah. Well, we could put one on your car, too. No, I'm okay. <laughs> I don't really do stickers, but we'll put it on.